Trying to replicate that here tonight. As you see there, the tail of the tape. Ayub Barrio, 193 centimeters tall. High advantage for the Algerian. Will he be able to use that to good effect in this fight? Let's find out. Referee in charge is Arun Kabutachad. Judges the ringside to one Ian Gubon, Pukit Rambuyon and Anchali Gongvak. And there you see, in Jita's corner, it is Sutsakon Sokinmi. Yeah, and it looks like that. Ayub Bari is training out of Sardeshapan Gym. Okay. Some big gyms there. Yeah, absolutely. Final prayers and the removal of the Moncon, and then we'll get this one underway. Past few years for Sorda Japan have been great. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Oh. And I talked to Sutsakorn just before the event here. He says he's got a lot of customers, a lot of people training now at Sutsakorn oh, Gym. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, if you drive from Bangkok to Padia, you can't miss the gym right on the highway. Pressing action here from Ayubari. We already saw a win for Hari here tonight. Are we going to see a win for Bari? Ah. Come on, it's the 50th episode. <laughs> <laughs> nice low kicks here from the Algerian. Yeah, surprised not to see more low kicks though from Zhang oh, Jitao. again. Attempted right high kick almost connecting there for Ayubari. Zhang Jitao. He's going to have to fight off the back foot, it seems, because not only is Ayub Bari a lot taller, but he's also very active. He hasn't stopped throwing since the opening bell. Another right high kick coming in there from the Algerian. I'm yeah, quite surprised with the uh, game plan from Zhang Jitao so far. I mean, I expected more low kicks, especially when he's fighting against a big man. There we go. Yeah, he's got power. Oh, another beautiful time right hand there from the Algerian. Really causing some issues here. For Zhang Jitao. Yeah, it's been an aggressive start from Ayubari, really working to his benefit at the moment. But we haven't seen too much from Zhang just yet. He did connect with a really good low kick early on. He needs to follow through with that. Yeah, that's been his most successful strike, that right low kick. In fact, I think both of them have found success with their right low kicks. Another right hand attempted there over the top as Zhang Jitao pedals backwards. Left up there by Zhang, but he walked straight into the clinch. And in the clinch, you would suspect it would be very problematic for Zhang Jitao with the high advantage of Ayubari. Yeah, he's got a good reach about him. Nine times out of ten in the clinch. It does favor the taller man. Oh, there's that right low kick again. Here the fight seems to block those kicks. Right hand there, Zhang Jitao moves out of the way. There's that kick, Anik doubling up. Smart, then going up high. Good level changes here from Ayubari. Uh, now Zhang Jitao's taking a lot of shots. Needs to give some back. You know the defensive a little bit too much. Oh, he gave there with a big overhand right. Yeah, good timing on the team though from Ayubari. Team, of course, can be used as an offensive and defensive maneuver, and that is the end of the first round. Let me see highlights from round number one. Frustrating round for Zhang Tao, in my opinion. I think that Ayub Bari will score that one. Saw some right high kicks from the Algerian. He was the one who was applying the pressure. But the shots of the round so far from Ayubari, of course, those right low kicks in which Zhang Jitao didn't block. Bari, he did have the quantity and the quality. You need to see a lot more from Zhang Jitao. Not easy competing against someone, of course. We keep mentioning it as tall as a Yubari, but it's just a fact. And Zhang Jitao, he might have to take some more risks now. He, we saw one overhand right in that round. We know he possesses power. We have seen that knockout power on display here in Thai Fight League. He's going to have to try and get in close. Like I said, take that risk and try and throw that right hand. Team to the midsection from Ayubari, who is now on the defensive. Good low kick there from Ayubari. A lot more low kicks from Zhang Jintao now. 
Uh, you can see that every time he tries to move forward, Ayubari is there, he's ready and waiting. With a team, good elbow there from Ayubari. Yeah, that wasn't the best of teams either. He really did calculate the distance mm. between him and his opponent. Another sturdy right kick. Keeping that jab, inside kick. Swing and a miss. Far from the mark there. Oh. Zhangji Tao, he's got to do much better than that. The one thing's for sure, he's a lot more aggressive than he was in the first round. A low kick there, to that same point on the leg. I'm sure he got a good telling off from Sitsa Korn during the break. <laughs> Zhang moved the rock the ring. In the clinch. Tempted elbows there instead of knees from uh, Ayubari. Yeah, we haven't seen much knees from Ayubari so far. Maybe it's not his forte. Try to throw some big elbows though on the inside. Well, right kick to the arm. Just a slip from Zhang. But that kick will score despite the fact that it hit the arm. Oh, left hook! Best shot of the fight so far from Zhang Shi Tao. Yeah, and that put Ayubari on the retreat it immediately. Has. Needs to follow up with it right now. And it seemed like the corner of Zhang Shi Tao was in absolute shock that he did follow up with some combinations. Yeah, instead it's Yu Nori who's now on the attack. Good elbows to the temple there and a big right hand. More reactionary round number two. Yeah, I'm sure that big shot from Zhang Jitao really fired up Ayubari. Now some blood from the head oh. of Zhang Jitao. First time we're going to see the doctor here tonight. Oh, not the first time. We've had a few knockouts. It's true. <laughs> oh, it looks pretty bad. It doesn't look great. I'd be surprised if the doctor... Yeah, he says yes! You could never predict it. You could never predict what the doctor is going to say. Well, if the doctor says okay... I say okay. End of round number two. There we can see highlights of round number two. Big round for Ayubari. Of course, the shot of that round, the elbow strike that opened up a nasty wound on the eyebrow of Zhang Ji Tao. We're just trying to see now in the corner whether they've been able to actually stop the flow of blood and apply some Vaseline. But it's going to be a, a really, really difficult round now for Zhang Ji Tao. Not only having to deal with that cut, but in our opinion, probably two rounds down as well. There it is. Beautiful, clean elbow strike, immediately opening up. The only thing that we can say, Zhang Ji Tao, right at the end of the round, he did connect with one big shot. And you can see Sutsukon was actually cheering for the fact that he connected with that big strike. But other than that, it's been all Ayub Bari. Yeah, he connected with that one big strike, and Ayub's answer to that was slicing him open. Gonna do, he's gonna target that cut, make it wider, give doctors no choice but to stop the fight. Yeah, someone in the chat said it, and we were saying the same thing no Vaseline being applied, which is a little bit strange. And it was applied eventually, but I think it's gonna come right off in this round here. Now we're going back to that leg, Tentative right high kick there. Zhang trying to push him back against the ropes. A low kick. He hasn't dealt with them low kicks well, has he? You know, he's starting to grab at them. Both fighters, in fact, need to work on blocking those kicks. Yeah, he's taking a lot of low kicks throughout the whole match. I don't think there was one single low kick blocked between the two, actually. Yeah, the good low kick from Zhang and a return Again, from yeah. Ayub Nori. That was a block this time from Ayub. 
Ball of a low kick save, round number three. Sanders so doing everything to try and get closer. Did he block that one? Yeah, he did. <laughs> so one block apiece when it comes to the battle of low kicks. Got kick to the body from Nori. Place for Zhang Zhi Pao within the clinch is exactly where that cut did open up. Right hand there from Zhang. Ayub takes it well though, back to the low kicks. Seems like Ayub is already quite content. It seems that way. With his efforts. He's definitely more dangerous though moving forward than he is. Sitting backwards. Yeah, I have to agree with that as well. Another elbow being applied by Ayub Nori. Or Ayub Bari, excuse me. Getting me some of my <laughs> fighters here. Oh, nice left hand there from Zhang. Perhaps a opening right now. Seems to have stunned Ayub just for a moment there. I just saw again that Ayub Nori is much better going forward than he is going backwards. Ayub Bari. I believe Ayub Nori is from Morocco. <laughs> you can see the oh, good right hand there, and another elbow strike from Barry. And another cut. End of the third and final round. Yeah, you're right, Zhang Ji Tao. Two cuts. Just above the eye on either side, fortunately for him. We'll be getting the decision here tonight. Let's have a look at the highlights. Just really struggled to cope with the distance. And you got to give credit to Ayubari for that. He never made it easy really, did he, for Zhang Ji Tao to get too close and put him in a difficult position. And when he did get close, and when he did start to attack, when he felt the danger, he then went on the front foot and made it even more difficult for his opponent. So credit where credit's due. And I think Ayub Bari in our sixth, sorry, fifth bout of the evening will be getting his hand raised here. And the winner is White Corner. Are you from Algeria?